Hello students, welcome to the lecture on data processing systems and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Describe the concept of information, understand organization structure and management concepts, define decision making process. Let's start with the concept of data processing systems. A transaction processing system TPS supports the processing of firm's business transactions. Transaction processing system keeps on organization running smoothly by automating the processing of a large amount of paperwork that must be handling daily. These systems include the accurate recording of transactions as well as the control procedures used in issuing such documents as paychecks, invoices, customer statements, payment reminders, tuition bills and student schedules unlike other components of management information system, the transaction processing system of an organization extending out of the organization linking together the entire financial system, factory, customers and suppliers. In the era of globalization, technology is vastly improving. Not only that, the citizens of the country are also increasing. Now, what can we refer to this? Shopping complexes are usually full due to the increasing of the people. Now, everyone's introducing buying online. Now, what is buying online? Buying online is you get your stuff right from the monitor. No, wait, not really from the monitor, but really from to your doorstep. Now, how can you purchase this? Of course, with credit cards. Credit cards can be purchased via just at your home. Just a simply key into your entry of your credit card number and bam, you get your jersey, your jersey, and your shoes, and your shoes. Now, this is all you get when you buy online. How easy it gets, but what's the downside of using this online shopping center? So, just say if you get scammed, bam, you don't get your stuff. You'll be this, like this guy over here. He doesn't get his stuff. And what do you do? You expect something, but you're not. And now you get so angry, you get so feisty, and you just want to kill everything. Now, so what is the solution to all these problems? Now, we have introduced the eBay. The eBay is an online purchasing center which uses a, one of the most security payment centers, which is called the PayPal. The PayPal actually uses and merges with your bank account, and therefore you can pay with your bank account via PayPal on the credit. Now, let's look through the TPS. Now we should use TPS into the credit card system. And this, moreover, will store the unit of the data and also the product chain of the data. It will store mostly everything. Well, let's just say you get scammed or there's something cheap, you don't get your product, the bank will be happily refund, to your, refund the money to you. And the money that the scammer has will be gone forever and this proves security and police will be able to solve you and help you catch the scammer and now the bank also you just your money will be safe in the bank and now your money will be here you'll be happy and there will be problems free what is transaction processing system tps it is a computerized system that performs and records the daily routine transactions necessary to conduct the business. They serve the organization's operation level. In the credit card world, a transaction is any communication with the, the card issuing company. Transaction processing is carried out with lots of advanced equipment. If you have the best transaction processing facility, then you will not have any problems in your business. 
So it will offer you a variety of choices or payment solutions for assessing their system as well. Online transaction processing is a kind of electronic register where all the records are maintained. So from the diagram above, we can see that in the system illustrated by the diagram, three TPS supply summarize transaction data to the MIS reporting system at the end of the time period. Managers then gain access to the organizational data through the MIS, which then provides them with the appropriate report. Sometimes the term data processing system is used for TPS. The primary purpose of these systems is to effectively process the data that arise from transactions. The transaction processing system of a departmental store can record customer purchases, prepare billing and booking of order from suppliers and interrelated these tasks into an overall accounting system. The transaction processing system of a college helps performing such tasks as enrolling students in courses, billing students for tuition and issuing pay to Q. Information system. It is a set of interrelated elements or components that collect, input, manipulate, process and disseminate output, data and information and provide a feedback mechanism to meet an objective. A component of a information system feedback is critical to the successful operation of a system. Input. In information systems, input is the activity of gathering and capturing raw data. In producing paychecks, for example, the number of hours worked for every employee must be collected before paychecks can be calculated or printed. Input can take many forms. In an information system designed to produce paychecks, for example, employee time cards might be the initial input. In a 9-11 emergency telephone system, an incoming call would be considered an input. Processing can involve making calculations, making comparison and taking alternative actions and storing data for future use. Processing can be done manually or with the assistance of computers. In the payroll application, the number of hours worked for each other employee must be converted into net pay. The required processing can first involve multiplying the number of hours worked by employees hourly pay rate to get gross pay. If more than 40 weekly hours are worked, overtime pay may also be determined. Output In information systems, output involves producing useful information usually in the form of documents and reports. Output can include paychecks for employees, reporters and managers and information supplied the stockholders, banks, government, agencies and other groups. In some cases, output from one system can become input for another. For example, output from a system that processes sales order can be used as input to a customer billing system. Often, output one system can be used as input to control other systems or devices. For instance, manufacturing office furniture is complicated with many variables. Thus, the salesperson, customer and furniture designer go through several iteration of designing furniture to meet the customer's need. Feedback In information system, feedback is output that is used to make changes to input to processing activities. For example, Errors or problems might make it necessary to correct input data or change a process. Consider a payroll example. Perhaps the number of hours an employee work was entered into a computer as 400 instead of 40 hours. 
Fortunately, most information systems checks to make sure that data falls within certain predetermined ranges. For number of hours worked, the range might be from 0 to 100 hours. It was unlikely that an employee would work more than 100 hours for any given week. The information system would determine that 400 hours is out of range and provide feedback such as an error report. The feedback is used to check and correct the input on the number of hours worked to 40. The new inventory orders that become input to the system. The feedback system reacts to an existing problems and alternates a manager that there are too few inventory items on hand. In addition to this reactive approach, a computer system can also be proactive by predicting future events to avoid problems. This concept, often called forecasting, can be used to estimate future sales and order more inventory before a shortage occurs. Let us now discuss concept of information. The word information is used commonly in a day-to-day -day working. In MIS, information has a precise meaning and it is different from data. The information has a value in decision making while data does not have. Information brings clarity and creates an intelligent human response in the mind. In MIS, a clear distinction is made between data and information. Data is like raw materials while information is equivalent to the finished goods produced after processing the raw material. Information has certain characteristics. These are information improves representation of an entity, updates the level of knowledge, has a surprise value, reduces certainty, aids in decision making. The term information system usually refers to a computer based system, one that is designed to support the operations, management and decision functions of an organization. Information systems in organizations thus provide information support for decision makers. Information system encompass transaction processing systems, management information system, decision support systems and strategic information system. Data versus information. Data refers to raw, in evaluate facts, figures, symbols, objects, events, etc. Data may be collection of facts lying in storage like a telephone directory or census records. Information is data that have been put into a meaningful and useful context and communicated to a recipient who uses it to make decisions. Information involves the communication and reception of intelligence or knowledge. It appraises and notifies surprises and stimulates, reduces uncertainty, reveals additional alternatives or helps eliminate irrelevant or poor ones and influences individual and stimulate them to action. An element of data may constitute information in a specific context. For example, when we want to contact a friend, his or her telephone is piece of information. Otherwise, it is just one example of data in the telephone directory. Computers have made the processing functions much easier. Characteristics of information the characteristics of good information are relevance, timeliness, accuracy, cost effectiveness, reliability, usability, exhaustiveness and aggregation level. Information is relevant if it leads to improved decision making. It might also be relevant if it reaffirms a decision. 
if it does not have anything to do with problems it is irrelevant information presentation presentation of information is an art the data may be collected in the best possible manner and processed analytically bringing lot of value in the information however if it not presented properly it may fail to communicate anything of value to the receiver the degree of communication is affected by the methods of transmission the manner of information handling and the limitations and constraints of a receiver as the information user timeliness it refers to the currency of information presented to the users currency of data or information is the time gap between the occurrence of an event in the field until its presentation to the users decision makers value of information information has great impact on decision making and hence its value is closely tied to the decisions that result from its use information does not have an absolute universal value its value is related to those who use it when it is used and in what situation it is used in the sense of information is similar to other commodities executive information system the eis or executive information system is such type of system that is very sophisticated in nature we can say that this system also provides the managers with the facility of having the decision making ability by its use this system works in such critical conditions as well in which the other systems fail to support heavy data storage capabilities make it deal to be adopted not only by the big firms but also by smaller businesses overall this system is for the senior level employees providing proficient assistance to them in making important decisions examples of eis executive information systems tend to be highly individualized and are often custom made for a particular client group however a number of off the shelf eis packages do exist and many enterprises level systems offer a customizable eis module role of eis concerned with ease of use concerned with predicting the future effectiveness oriented highly flexible support unstructured decisions use internal and external data sources used only at the most senior management levels decision support system a very important system for any large organization is decision support system abbreviated as dss this system as the name suggest is ideal for making the right decision for any business decision making is critical process that evolves considering all the major operations forecasts activities planning and management of various functions this systems helps the senior management of an organization to get the required data in no time and process it further to make rapid necessary decisions this system not only helps the managers in making the decisions but also in executing them rightfully examples of dss group decision support system gtss computer supported cooperative worker cscw logistic systems financial planning systems spreadsheet models the role of dss support ill structured or semi structured decision analytical or modeling capacity used by more senior managerial levels concerned with predicting the future effective oriented
transaction processing system a transaction is any event that take place either within the business organization or between the organization and external environment such regular transactions include regular ordering or raw materials customer billing and bank deposits now moving on to the next topic we will study the organizational structure and management concepts the typically hierarchical arrangement of lines of authority communication rights and duties of an organization organizational structure determines how the roles power and responsibility are assigned control and coordinated and how information flows between the different level of management management concept the basic functions of management broken down into four different areas allows for it to handle this strategic tactical and operational decision for the organization the four functions of management are planning planning is the core area of all the functions of management it is the foundation upon which the other three areas should be building planning requires management to evaluate where the company is currently and where it would like to be in future from there an appropriate course of action to attain the company's goal and objectives is determined and implemented organizing getting organized is the second function of management management must organize all its resources in order to implement the course of action it determined in the planning process through the process of getting organized management will determine the internal organizational structure establish the maintain relationships as well as allocated necessary resources directing the third function of management is directing through directing management is able to influence and oversee the behavior of staff in achieving the company's goal as well as assisting them in accomplish their own personal or career goals this influence can be gained through motivation communication department dynamics and department leadership controlling controlling is the last or fourth function of management it involves establishing performing standards based on the company's objectives and evaluating and reporting actual job performance once management has done both of these things it should be compared the two to determine any necessary co reactive or preventive action
organizational structure the primary formal relationship for organizing are responsibility authority and accountability they enable us to bring together functions people and other resources for the purpose of achieving objectives the framework for organizing these formal relationship is known as organizational structure it provides the means for clarifying and communicating the lines of responsibility authority and accountability line and staff organization when staff specialized are added to a line organization to advise serve or support the line in some manner we have a line and staff organization these specialists contribute to the effectiveness and efficiency of a organization their authority is generally limited to making recommendation to the line organization geographical organization structure the small business administration is responsible for defining small businesses in different industries for example in manufacturing the sba usually considered a company with 500 or fewer employees of small business committee organization when a group of people is formally appointed to consider or decide certain matters this type of structure is a committee committees can be permanent standing or temporary and usually supplement line and staff functions departmentalization grouping relating functions into manageable units to achieve the objectives of the enterprise is the most efficient and effective manner is departmentalization a variety of means can be utilized for this purpose function perhaps the oldest and most common method of grouping related function is by a specialized function such as marketing finance and production or operation process process departmentalization can also take place by process market when a need exists to provide better service to different types of markets departmentalization by market may be appropriate form customer sometimes key or major customers warrant departmentalization by customer combination approach many organizations particularly large physically dispersed and diversified organization utilize several different forms of departmentalization let's now the meaning of decision making process decision making is an essential aspect of modern management it's a primary function of management a manager's major job is sound rational decision making he takes hundreds of decision consequently and subconsequently decision making is the key part of manager's activities decisions are important as they determine both managerial and organizational actions decision may be defined as a course of action which is consequently chosen from among a set of alternatives to achieve a desired result it represent a well balanced judgment and commitment to action the word decision is derived from the latin word decisio which means a cutting away or a cutting off or in a practical sense to come to a conclusion decision or made to achieve goals through suitable follow up actions decision making is a process by which a decision course of action is taken decision making lies embedded in the process of management characteristics of decision making decision making implies choose decision making is choosing from among two or more alternative courses of action thus it is the process of selection of one solution out of many available for many business problem 
alternative solutions are available. Managers have to consider these alternative and select the best one for actual execution. Continuous activity process. Decision making is a continuous and dynamic process. It pervades all organizational activity. Goal oriented process. Decision making aims at providing a solution to a given problem difficulty before a business enterprises. It is a goal oriented process and provides solution to problems faced by a business unit. Means and not the end. Decision making is means for solving a problem or for achieving a target objective and not the end in itself. Types of decisions. The types of decisions are based on degree of knowledge about the outcomes or the events yet to take place. Types of decision making system. The decision making system can be classified in number of ways. There are two ways of system based on the manager's knowledge about the environment. If the manager operates in a known environment, then it is closed decision making process. The conditions of the closed decision making systems are the manager has a known set of decision alternatives and knows their outcomes fully in terms of value if implemented. The manager has a model a method or a rule whereby the decision alternatives can be generated, tested and ranked for selection. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in the lecture. Timely availability of relevant information is vital for effective performance of managerial functions such as planning, organizing, leading and control. The concept of normative value of information has been developed by economist and statistician and is derived from decision theory. Getting organized is the second function of management. Management must organize all its resources in order to implement the course of action it determined in the planning process. The small business administration is responsible for defining small businesses in different industries. Decision makers should be matured, experienced, knowledgeable and rational in their approach.